Is 256 gigabytes enough storage on the new M1 MacBooks? My recommendation is no, but there's a really cheap fix that Apple won't tell you. Let me ask you this question. Is two inches enough? I mean, you always wish you had more, but you just gotta work with what you got. The same goes with these MacBook storage. The biggest usage of your storage is gonna be your apps. So right now, I am using a total of 28.67 gigabytes, and let's take a look at the apps that I have, right? So at the top here, it's all Adobe. Adobe and the editing softwares like Final Cut and Photoshop, these are gonna take a lot of space because they're big programs. And GarageBand, if you download all the soundtracks, it's gonna take a lot of space. And the other apps you can see right here are gonna take around 500 to 300 megabytes. And the next biggest usage of your space is gonna be your documents. Work files, videos, photos, these take up a lot of space. For me right now, my documents are taking around 46 gigabytes, and most of that is raw footage for these videos that I make. If you don't make videos, it's gonna be a lot less for you. As you can see, I don't have a lot of work files and personal files like PDFs, work documents, Excel documents on this laptop because I don't use it for work. Like I mainly use this laptop for testing, but I went on my other computer and most of the work files added together take around 10 gigabytes. Now, the biggest offender of storage space is games. If you play games at all, you are gonna struggle a lot on 256 gigs because Fortnite, 20 gigabytes, Minecraft, one gigabyte, League of Legends, nine gigabytes, CSGO, 15 gigabytes. And if you wanna play any of the AAA RPGs like Witcher 3, it's gonna take 70 gigabytes each. So if you've downloaded all these, we've already used half of the storage. And another 15 gigabytes is gonna go right to system files. You can't delete these, you can't get rid of this. If you wanna install Windows 10, it's gonna take you another 15 gigabytes for that. So you're gonna run Windows 10 via Parallels and that's taking around 14 to 15 gigabytes. Add up all the other files, another 20 gigabytes. So in total, we've used 168 gigabytes with just the normal stuff, right? I've only had this laptop for around two weeks and we've already used 168 gigabytes we only have 88 gigabytes free. What does that mean? That means the 88 gigs will probably only last you another year until you run out of space. Right now my system says I have 114 because I cleared up some of the documents and the trash. But let me let you in on secret. Not everything needs to be on your internal SSD storage. All right, we now have a lot of streaming services, Netflix, Spotify, YouTube, all those videos, movies, you don't need to download, so that frees up space. And additionally, this is a hack. You can get an external SSD and it's gonna be just as fast as your internal SSD. And let me show you, because Apple scams you with their storage prices. So if you go on apple.com, the storage upgrade that goes from 256 gigs to 512 gigs costs you $200. So that's $1.28 per gigabyte of storage. But check this out. If you go on amazon.com or linked in the description, you search up Standisk Extreme Portable SSD, it's only gonna cost you 15 cents per gigabyte. That means Apple is 8.5 times more expensive. Apple is ripping you off with their storage. I like this SanDisk SSD over the Samsung T5 because it's dust proof, water resistant, and drop resistant, and it's smaller, so it's easier to carry. I'll link it in the description if you wanna get yours and not get scammed by Apple. I'm a content creator, so let's take a look at my video files, right? Look at these. This one's 30 gigs, this one's 56 gigabytes, and uh, this one, let's see, it's 17, and let's see this one. This one is another 25. So on average, they're like 30 gigs each. You can only load around like four or five videos until you run out of space on your MacBook. But if you get an external SSD, you can load a lot more for a lot cheaper. And the best part is it's almost just as fast as your internal SSD. So 30 gigs right here, let's copy that to the desktop and see how long that takes, right? It's gonna take you only a minute. It's not gonna take that much time. Leave it on your internal storage while you're editing. And once you're done editing, move it off to your external storage. 
All right, these are 4K footage. It's loaded right now from the SSD and we are also in full resolution. And, and playback is as smooth as butter. Look at this. Literally no problem playing back on the external SSD. So to answer a question in the beginning, is 256 gigabytes enough for the new M1 MacBooks? And my answer is yes, but only if you get an external SSD. This is the most bang for your buck storage solution that you're gonna get. I would much rather you get more RAM for the same price as storage because that you cannot upgrade on your own. So you can increase the performance of your M1 MacBook. This is Creators Unbox and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Click right here to watch the next video. Keep creating.